A group of students are now demanding that Penn State defund conservative, quote, hate groups. Don't these kids have anything better to do, honestly? All right, my friends, this one from campusreform.org. And let me just say that Campus Reform is a great, great organization, part of uh, the Leadership Institute. Um, I've done a lot of work with the Leadership Institute. They have great people there. Campus Reform, honestly, one of the best websites out there for uh, campus news. If you haven't checked it out, if you don't know about it, definitely do so. It's uh, campusreform.org. Uh, this one, students demand Penn State defund conservative hate groups. Oh, you know how hateful those conservatives are. Student demonstrators at colleges across Pennsylvania are demanding that their schools cut funding to hate groups, such as, ready for this, Turning Point USA. I know, I know, so hateful, huh? Uh, and the Bull Moose Party. Now, I've done a little bit of work with Turning Point USA. I've, I've actually given a speech for them a couple years ago out in Chicago. Uh, I know Charlie Kirk a little bit and some other people who, who are involved with Turning Point USA. They're a fantastic organization, an absolutely fantastic organization. It stands up for conservatism, and their main focus is actually on capitalism and the free market. Uh the point is, there's absolutely nothing hateful about Turning Point USA. And the fact that these students uh, are, are coming out and saying that we need to defund, or these schools need to defund Turning Point USA because they're a hate group, shows me that they're either just stupid or they don't know what Turning Point USA actually is. Uh, I think it's the first one. The Pennsylvania Student Power Network. What the hell is that, by the way? as well as students from other clubs such as the United Socialists, well, of course, protested Monday outside an administrative building at Pennsylvania State University, complaining that the school provides funding to groups such as Turning Point USA and the Bull Moose Party. The students also delivered a petition to President Eric Barron's office that urges him to defund the conservative hate groups Uh, that have, quote, attracted avowed white nationalists to campus. Do do these leftists think that, you know, all conservatives are somehow connected to white nationalists, by the way? Is that, that, you know, the new talking point? Can they, by the way, can they name me one person? They probably can't, but I'll just challenge them anyway. Can these idiots name me one person in Turning Point USA that is in any way connected to a white nationalist who give me a name uh let's see here additionally the petition demands that quote school student activities uh funds which mostly draw from students tuition and fees not be used to support student hate groups and that quote our colleges and universities formally and publicly denounce hate groups on and around campus And it goes on. You can read it for yourself. It's on campusreform.org. Here's a point that I want to make here. Um, I think that, first of all, I don't know if Penn State's going to cave. I really, really hope that they don't. Uh, Because, quite frankly, as I said, it's an absurd demand. What's with all these young kids, by the way, these, these college students making demands nowadays anyway? I mean, I see headline after headline. Students demand that... Students demand that their school administration do this. Students uh, demand that teachers do this. The hell are you? Are you kidding me? Um, anyway, what they're doing, and I, I think that um, what's going on here is they have learned, they have learned, yes, I know these young idiots are capable of learning, um, they've learned that hate speech and hate groups are two very, very powerful phrases. And they use those phrases, they throw them around like it, like it's nothing, to shut down conservative speakers, conservative organizations like Turning Point USA. And nine times out of ten, nine times out of ten they get their way because the school administration caves. And then the students walk away and they think to themselves, well, gee, These phrases, hate groups, hate organizations, they're more powerful than we thought. And then they do it again. 
Oh, Ben Shapiro's coming to our school? Let's just call him, you know, a, a hateful individual. He's spew, uh, spewing out hate speech. That'll get him to shut up. That'll, that'll make the school shut him down. That's their mentality. They have learned this over time. And so what I'm calling on schools to do, including Penn State, is to draw a more clear distinction between hate speech and political speech. Yes, hate speech is horrible. It shouldn't be tolerated. Absolutely. But just because speech happens to be conservative doesn't mean it's hate speech. It means it's political speech. It's opinionated. It might be controversial, but it's not hate speech. It's political speech. Hate speech should be not tolerated. Political speech should be tolerated. After all, aren't we about having conversations? Aren't we about discussing ideas with each other? Is that what colleges are teaching anymore? Or do they just want to, you know, cave to the leftists and and shut up conservatives? Hi, everyone. Thanks for checking out my video. If you want to show your support, click on the thumbs up icon below this video. Leave a comment. Tell me what you thought. And subscribe so you can stay up to date on all of my latest content. Thanks again, and God bless.